Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Laravel e-commerce reward points plugin. Now with the help of this particular plugin the admin can reward his customers with points. The admin can allocate reward points to the customers based on their purchase, product, category, cart amount wise. On the other hand the customers can redeem their reward points at the checkout time before placing an order and this will help build customer trust towards your online store and also boost up sales. So the admin would be able to add attribute, category, product, cart, rewards. Rewards are calculated based on attribute, category, product and cart value. The admin can view all of the users and all the reward points based on the order. Reward points can be assigned whenever a customer registers for the first time at the store and the expiry date for the uh, received uh, reward points can be set. On the product review, reward points can be assigned and the expiry time for the same can be set by the admin. At a time, how many reward points can be redeemed by the customer can be set by the admin as required. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin at the admin's end and I'll be showing you the initial configuration settings for the Laravel e-commerce reward points plugin. But before that, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm on one of the product pages that's the watch chronograph and here if I'm buying this product, uh, if I buy this product we will be getting 10 reward points. Same case goes with the registration process for a new user. If you are registering for the first time then uh, you will be getting 12 points. It depends upon the point, number of points set by the admin for the registration purpose for the, uh, for the uh, points as well. So let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you how this uh, particular plugin can be configured from the admin backend panel by the admin himself. So for that, I've already logged into the Bugisto backend panel and here after the successful installation of the uh, Laravel e-commerce reward points plugin, I'll find one option in the side panel that's the reward point. Now if I tap on the reward point here, I'll be getting general settings, reward points on product, reward points on category, reward points on cart, reward points on attribute, reward system details, redemption settings. So let's go to the redemption settings first. Uh, so under the redemption settings you can set up the redemption or the cart subtotal and you can allow the customers to apply points during the cart. Apart from that you can set the conversion rate for the cart subtotal redemption. So here you can set up the number of points and the equivalent value in dollars. So here I've set as one point equals to one dollar. You can also enable to apply points during the checkout. If you have enabled this particular option here, then the customers will be able to apply points during the checkout there to their orders itself. So that was the redemption settings. Now coming to the general settings. Here you'll be able to set up the model status as enabled or disabled. If enabled, then the reward points option would be available under the customer's account panel as well so that they can move their reward points there. And this would uh, this functionality would be enabled for the store itself. Then we have reward when customer register. So here you can see that here we have set it as 12 points. The same is visible here. Reward points when the customer registers. So you can set it up as per your own requirement. Then we have after how many days the reward points expire on customer registration. So you can set the number of days uh, when the reward points should expire after the customer registration there. You can also give the uh, reward points for customer date of birth. Uh, you can give the number of points there. You can also set up the number of days after which the reward points uh, should expire on customer date of birth there. Uh, then you can also set up the reward points when product reviewed. If the product is reviewed, the number of reward points that the customers should uh, receive. You can set up the expiry date for the product review reward points that the customers receive. Then you can set up the reward point use at one time. So at the checkout time, the number of reward points that you have set here, only the set number of reward points can be redeemed by the customers at the checkout time. And then we have the email notifications so you can enable or disable the email notifications on the various uh, points uh, there. So this was the general settings after that just tap here on the save button to save the general settings. Now coming to the reward points on product. So here you can set up the reward points on the products. Here you can already see that I've added the, the reward points on the products. Here we have the product name, the reward points for each, the, their status and the 
edit option under the actions column to add a, a product rewards what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add product reward button this would bring up this particular section here you have to enter the reward points that you want to assign to a particular product then from the select product you can select the product to which you want to apply these reward points to and then choose the status as active or inactive after selecting the status there you have to tap here on the save button and the particular reward points would be assigned to the respective product there for example here we have set the 10 points for the watch chronograph uh, here we have the watch chronograph and here we have set the 10 reward points there now the reward points can be also set on the products for specific time for that you need to tap here on the reward points on product for specific time and here what you can do is you can add product specific reward points according to the start and end date here you have to enter the reward points that should be assigned select the product select the start date uh, and the end date and time there and then select the status as active or inactive and then tap on the save button to save the reward points on product for specific time there now coming to the reward points on category on the reward points on category here you can assign the reward points on the category there to add a category reward what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add category reward button this will bring up this particular section here you need to uh, enter the reward points select the category select its uh, status and tap on the save button to save the reward points on the category itself and you can see that for the women's category we have set the reward points as five and the status is active now the reward points and category can be set for a specific time period as well so for that you have to go to the reward points on category for specific time and here you need to tap here on the add category specific reward tapping on the add specific uh, category for specific time rewards here you need to enter the uh, reward point uh, points that would be assigned uh, select the category from the drop down choose the start uh, date and time uh, the end date and time select the status as active or inactive and set on the save button thereafter after that the particular category specific uh, a time would be uh, or the reward point uh, depending upon the specific time would be saved for the category there then we have the reward point on cart now here you can set up the reward points on the cart value there so you can set the reward points that should be given if the product amount is between the set amount from and two values uh, the start date and the end date has to be uh, mentioned and you have to make the status as active you can also export the details by tapping here on the export option that you can see to add the cart reward point you need to tap here on the add cart reward point enter the reward points that you want to assign the amount of the cart if it's from 111 dollars to 122 dollars and the date range is between 4th till uh, 12th of the month if the status is active then the customer would receive 10 reward points if the product amount is between the uh, $111 to $122 in the cart uh, between these the uh, between the start and the end dates there then the customer would receive $10 as the reward points then you have to tap here on the save button to save the particular reward points as you can see then we have reward points on attribute now uh, reward points on attributes can be also set and if that particular attribute is found in any of the products then the particular set reward points on that particular product attribute would be given to the customers there to add the attribute reward point what you need to do is you need to tap here on the add attribute reward point this will bring up this particular section here you need to enter the reward points that would be assigned select the attribute for example color set its status as active and tap on the save button thereafter now whenever a customer tries to purchase a product who has which has a, a product attribute color within it then the customer would receive 10 reward points for the same there then we have reward system details here the, the admin would be able to see the complete list of customer names their total reward points their used reward points their status and can view the details as well by tapping on the view option so if i tap on the view option i'll be able to see the transactions uh, that have been done and the reward points that have been received by the customers according to the same so here you can see that uh, we have received for order number uh, for order id one we have received 20 the point is given for the cart 
uh, rule. So here we had said if the uh, uh, cart amount is between thousand to two thousand dollars, then our uh, twenty reward points should be assigned to the particular customer. Similarly, we had said uh, the point is given for the product here for the landscape uh, or the horizon uh, horizon product. Uh, for the order number one so the uh, reward points were set for the product as well so that's why we received 10 uh, reward points for the same and 20 for the cart value there now then we have the redemption settings uh, we have already gone through the redemption settings here you can allow the customers to apply points during the cart you can set up the conversion rate for the uh, cart subtotal uh, redemption there and you can also allow the customers to apply points during the checkout itself right so yes that was much about the laravel e-commerce reward points plugin backend configuration and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bagisto.com or you can raise it at ticket at bagisto.uds.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.